Hi, today we are going to see how to talk to your register using the talk register crate. You can find this talk register crate on crates.io. So this crate basically provides you a functionality where you can talk to all your memory mapped registers by defining it and manipulating it. So the it pro for a memory map register it provides you three basic functionality that is your read write functionality read only functionality and write only functionality and to define these three functionality it has implemented the following traits that is your readable writable and read writable traits here i would like to show you how do we define a register using the talk register crate so to define a register in using the talk register crate we use something called as your register structure so this register structure basically requires three things most important things that is your offset the field name and what type it is so the type that we defined was that read write read only and write only so over here uh, in this example, you can see that a control register, status register, and bytes have been defined. One thing that we have to take care over here is that while defining the register, they should be defined in the increasing order of their offsets. So, if the offset of the control register is at the zero index, it will come the, the first most, and then your status register and accordingly so over here you can see that uh, when you have uh, you can even have registers that can be of different sizes that is over here that is your bytes half words or words so but when you're defining a registers with different sizes it's not necessary to mention what type of it is over here and the another thing that you see that whenever you have empty spaces between your register we can be use the reserved key so over here the reserve keys will take care of the compilation that it will automatically calculate the gap and the size and insert suitable fillers between the structures over here and at the end of uh, at the end of the register we have to mention at rate to add end at their last offset so this is marked at the end of your register once your register has been defined the compiler the rust compiler will generate a c code c structure in this style that is a structure register which will be having the following registers into it that is your control register status register and all the bytes that we have defined on top that is byte 0 byte 1 and log so the thing over here that i want to mention is that over here we have added a reserve bit so the previous about the reserve we have at the fourth offset we had a short variable that is a read write variable of 16 bits 16 bytes so now for the next proper alignment that will be at an offset of 08 we have to have something that is padded so when we call this reserve bit internally in the c c style structure you can see that a reserve bit has been added with u8 structures over here u8 bit fields or two u8 has been added over here so the what you understand with this is that when this crate will automatically generate a c code internally which will take care of your proper start offset of your padding fields it will also give you a proper start and the end offset of each and every field that you're working on and it will not allow any invalid alignments and sizes that can happen by mistake over here the structures over here by default is into the private it, it is private so to make it public you can you can add something you can add the pub keyword now after defining your register we are going to see how you define the bit fields the bit fields can be defined by using the macro that is your register bit field so with the help of register bit field we are going to define a bit fields so the first parameter that we are going to pass is what is the size of our register width so this can be anything like u8 u16 u32 or u64 so in this example we have marked as, as that our register bits are 64 64 the size of the register then secondly the another parameter that we are going to pass is basically going to be an abbreviations of the registers that we have used 
So over here, we have said that we have your control registers and status registers. So we just have the uh, abbreviation that control and status. So this control and status, they are going to have a group of bit fields. So like you can see over here, like a range, enable and disable. And we're going to say this, uh, what is going to be the size of these bit fields? So over here, we are saying that this is going to be two bit size with the values that is very high, high and low. And another one is the another other bit fields are going to be of one one bit each that is for your enable and disable. So the same thing uh, we could give another example over here for the status registers which will be having the bits that are each of one 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 size and three bits for the mode. So we have your TX complete, TX interrupt, RX complete, RX interrupt and mode. In mode we are having the that is that we have the full duplex mode, your half duplex mode, loop back and disabled. So we can set each and every register with the bit over here, the mode and all. Uh, so now let's go into an example if we see. I have written a UART register, a UART driver over here. So over here you can see that the registers over here in the R register block we have mentioned we have a UBR that is your baud rate, transmit register, receive register, status register and so on. So over here the UBR is your read write uh, register. So it has read access as well as write access. The transmit register we are just going to write data on it. So we call it as the write only register and the receive register we are going to just read it. So we have the read only register. So over here I'll have written a code on here. So now I'll just explain you how can we what all uh, options are available to you for you to do with this registers uh, with their specific types. So as I said that uh, your uh, give me an example self registers. Now you say you have your UBR baud rate register so this baud rate register is an read write register so uh, i'll go with something what is uh, first with the tx register so your this register is an read only register so it has the following option that is your set register so the set register will set the raw value it will set the complete register complete uh, what do you say uh, value for the register single value for the whole register but if you want to just uh, set a what do you say specific re specific register or a bit you call the write function over here so here you pass the field that you want to write on and you can set, uh, write on the specific field but with the write function over here one thing to, to take care is that it will write on the specific field but it will set all the other fields to zero and now if you have uh, your t this is your write register so now if we go for uh, rx register which will be your only read register so yeah receive register that is only read so we have the following things that is your get again it will get your whole re register value and if you want a uh, specific uh, values you will be using the read function so that is over here the read uh with instead i'll show you a better register if you are you can follow this page again in your uart script so you have uh, again uh, for your examples, this is the example and you have read write. When you are having your read only, you have the options of get, read, read as enum, is set, matches and extract. So get as I said that it will be just giving you the raw value of your complete register. But if I read, you can get a specific field or specific value that you want for a bit value or anything you can get it. It will return you the value. Uh, then it also returns you the value in the form of enums if you use the read as function is set will check a specific bit or uh, uh, one or more register value the one which you are passing and it will check if it is set or no and it will return you a boolean variable that is true and false depending on it. and matches will if you want again the true and 
false values that how your matches you want like the bit is it set if the complete whole uh, what do you say part of the bit is set or your corresponding flags which you are sending fields are there mask how you're sending will be set over here another thing is that you can call the extract you can make a variable extract so there are some registers which you don't you don't need to change so by the controller so, so you have to take care that you create a copy of this register and then you can change it over here so we done with the read only the next part is the write only write only gives you two functions that is your set and write so the set will again uh, give you to set the whole raw register and write will give you to set a specific values in the register the next is your read write action the read write so the one thing what i had mentioned over here is that write when you write to a specific field it will make the other field zero so what to do if we want to just write to a specific field and keep the retain the values of other fields we call the modify function so as you can see the modify writes the value of one or more field leaving the other fields unchanged and it will write the value on the only field that you want and other fields will be unchanged so this is the modify and then there are again all the same that is is set and matches and extract that we have seen oh yeah we even have the alias so alias will help you if you are using the same register but you are giving it different functionalities that is your read only or write only so at that instance we use your alias page so basically this is the complete whole thing of the talk register you can for more further in informations you can visit this page that is on the quiz.io thank you